Five foot eight, 185 pounds. Makai Mews out of Grayson, Georgia. Beck, complete again. And they're going to get it out to about the 25 yard line. Dylan Bell, another guy that we expect to get a lot of time here. Yeah. To UT Martin, first down from the 24, changing field is LaFleur, Narkel LaFleur runs a long way to get hammered at the 34-yard line by Starks. He saw the light at the end of the tunnel, and hopefully pay, it pays off for him this, this season. Well, this is good to see Kendall Milton get the touch. He's a little banged up with a hamstring, but he carries ahead for about three yards. Let's go down to Ashley. Just two passing yards so far for Carson Beck. He's two for four throwing. Look at her throw here, dumps it off short. There is Bowers. Bowers slips through a tackle. Into UT Martin territory. That's Brock Bowers, the reigning Mackey Award winner, and a flag comes in late. The college football game, he is the best chess piece in America. And I know a lot of people say, you know, what about the receivers there at Ohio State? And, and those guys are amazing. They're struggling a little bit today, but those guys are really, really good but the ability to dictate to a defense personnel groups. Something to put in the back of Coach Bobo's mind for later this game if he wants to take some shots. This offensive line could be the best in the country. Three of the five starters back. And they get behind that line, Milton again. And it's gonna bring up third down and goal to go. Oh, and Kendall Milton behind this offensive line, the power, it's just, it's, it's a matter of staying healthy. And that's for the entire running backs. And, and they've been a little bit banged up at the position. Kendall's been banged up for a lot of his career. Can they stay healthy? Because if they can, you just mentioned it. I mean, this is going to be one of the best offense lines, if not the best offensive line in the country. From tackle to tackle, those guys are going to be able to move defenders to that second level to give these running backs opportunities. Just what we're about to see right now, opportunities to possibly get in the end zone. Cedric Van Pram coming back, the center. That was a big lift for this team. And there is Bowers, touchdown. First touchdown of the year goes to the Mackey winner, Brock Bowers. Anytime you see Brock Bowers in motion in the red zone or for that matter of fact, anywhere on the football field, always a good chance that he's going to get some sort of jet sweep put in his belly, take it in the end zone once again. And you talk about what more can he do? That's, that's essentially acting like a running back right there for Mr. Bowers. Georgia's got to replace Jackpot Lesney this year, the place kicker, Peyton Woodring. True freshman comes on and tacks on the extra point to make it 7 0 Georgia. 10 plays, 73 yards at 439. The one thing that, that continues to jump off the film when you watch 19, and you saw it on the first completion, the, the, the rollout from Carson Beck, your classic cover four defense. Cash Jones into the game. Beck to throw, he finds. Bowers, but the ball comes loose. It's recovered by Georgia's Arian Smith. But that was on the turf for a moment. A move. Recovered by the offense. First down, Georgia. They're going to rule it on the field. A catch and a recovery and a first down. And O'Shea Baker wearing zero. Knocked it out. I'll be screaming at Bobo to send a post rod over top with number 11. They pitch it out, Roderick Robinson cuts the edge, turns the corner, and gets out to midfield. That's the dilemma. If you want to come up close and you're able to block everyone up front, great job by Oscar Delp. And these tight ends, they got a little chip on their shoulder too. Now third and 13. Dent rolling to his right. He's going to tuck it and run again, trying to get to the sticks. Slides at the 20, a couple of yards shy of where he needed to get. Shoulder high. Yeah. Good thing Javon went a little high, too, on that. And now this offense for Georgia. You can see if they get some good field position. But right now, I mean, UT Martin defensively, listen, let's just go out there right now and score and put all that behind us. One play mentality. Todd Munkin went back to the NFL, new offensive coordinator, new quarterback. 
This is more like what the fans want to see. Kendall Milton stepping it into the secondary. Big gallop to the 31-yard line. Give him 38 on the play. On those dudes up front about making some more room for these running backs to get to the second and third level. You're looking for him. It's going to be definitely running back by committee. Looking for Bowers. They got him again. That's going to be a first down and more. Brock Bowers takes a hit and then leaves some punishment of his own and gets to the 13-yard line. Balance and can take those hits, absorb them, and stay up. And Brock's like that. They're going to motion someone over to take that double team off of him. Back all kinds of time. Now he's going to run. Nice move into the end zone. Touchdown. <laughs> That's got to feel good for Carson Beck. One of the big questions with Carson Beck, could he be like Stetson, extending plays, running, making plays with his legs? He showed a little something right there. Trying to take your head off. They take the play clock down to two. Handoff. Sam Franklin, good run along the far sideline. Did he get there? Yeah, it's going to be short by about a yard, so fourth down. And now another timeout, and this time Georgia wants to talk. Well, they would love to put Carson back in a situation and what they're going to get right now of two-minute drive. Can Carson Beck execute a two-minute drive? You do it in practice. Two-minute drill time for Georgia. Mike Bobo's offense going to the air. They're going to flare it out to Bowers. Bowers to the 25-yard line, up the near sideline. It's going to take one or two, if not three, defenders to bring him down. Nice controlled drop by Carson Beck. Get through the reads. Understand you got collegiate field goal. This will be a 23-yard attempt. Broke the Louisiana high school record. The longest field goal in state history last year, 60 yards. So he's got a strong leg, and he bangs it home to make it 17 to nothing. Got points. Yeah, that's, uh, you got to walk away from that saying, hey, we put three points on the board. We accomplished a two-minute drill because we put something there. Muse is going to bring it out from a yard deep. Makai Muse, the pride of grace in Georgia, cuts it back up the middle, spins to the 32-yard line. He is going to be a firecracker this season for Georgia on special teams. Number 87, and the one thing that you love from the coaching staff, they just kept saying number 87 kept popping on film as a scout team player. Kirby Smart always shows plays from the previous day's practice and the next day's team meeting, walking into that locker room. Dominic Lovett going to get it on the jet sweep. And UT Martin pretty quick to run him down. It's Josh Hastings, who's 14 yards passing for the Ole Miss transfer. He'll sling it out here. Marlon Cook, his first catch tonight. And he's going to get it close to the first down where he's stacked up. It's a rugby scrum along the near sideline. It's a nine-yard gain for Cook. From the 46, Dent tipped again, and that is caught. Sam Franklin, the running back, carries it into Georgia territory. A better lucky than good sometimes. Great job by... Jamon Dumas Johnson get in there and get a hand on it. Just block on a bubble screen to 19. And great job defensively staying home, not biting on the fake. Kai Muse swings out of the backfield. And he's going to get it on the screen. Muse tucks inside. There he goes, Makai Muse. Look up. One man to beat. Touchdown. Fifty-four yards. Makai Muse explosive after the catch. He's earned the right to play. His work ethic has been incredible this offseason. And finally we saw the big boys up front for, our, for Georgia's offensive line. Trust and Green get out and run. I'm sure Georgia fans what 6'5, 320 looks like on the move, creating some space. For the 5'8", 185, Makai Muse to slither through to get the first touchdown of the half. Now I think a lot of people after the spring game were thinking Makai Muse, he's going to be a weapon in special teams. 
And a touchdown. And that's going to get down to the one yard line for Robinson. Second down and goal. Kai Muse. You just never know who's going to emerge as a star on opening night. And that's an easy touchdown. Robinson walks right in. And now Georgia's got some separation. Yeah, definitely a little bit of a slow start, but we've seen that in college football throughout this day. And not to completely defend Georgia there in the first half, which was a little bit ugly on offense, but yeah, from, from, from coast to coast, we've seen some teams kind of play some sluggish first court, couple quarters, yep. and then kind of third, fourth quarter, they start to wake up a little bit, press that gas, and then they kind of take off. We saw that with TCU today against Colorado. Well, they slept a little bit too long. Buffalo's surprising the country with that win in Fort Worth today. It's 31 to nothing, Georgia. Talked about how difficult learning this offense is, especially considering what he came from. Just takes some time to digest this. Now here in the fourth quarter, he shows up. Biggest play for Georgia tonight, 56 yards. Now Vandegrift again, wide open man, Delp. What a catch! And then dropped it. But they're going to call it a touchdown. He held on long enough. Oscar Delp. At the top of his shoes, makes the catch with his back to the end zone and falls in for the touchdown. I would have loved to see that make it a little bit easier for the tight end. We're getting some good views of this one to see. Because you have to complete the catch all the way through. You talk about the athleticism of these tight ends. We know we've, we've, we've hit on these guys just aren't blockers. They're, they're big athletic guys that can create plays like that. It looks like they're going to say touchdown to number four. Had one touchdown last year. Nice catch to get things going for him to start 2023. And Woodring glances that one off the upright, gets it through for the extra point. And Georgia adds another seven points to make it 38 to nothing. Oh, they love this, whether it's faking a screen or, or right there, a pitch to the outside. Obviously more pluses than minuses. But Kirby is such a perfectionist. Dent lobbing it to the corner. And it is off the hand. Did he catch it? That is a catch. Travante Rucker. He did hold on. That is a touchdown in the corner for Travante Rucker, the junior from Ocala, Florida. They're going to look at it again. But UT Martin gets on the board here late in the fourth. I think we had a little, little Moss, little one-hander Odell style in the back of the end zone for number 13 right there. Trevante Rucker, just a one-on-one -on -one fade. And you, as a quarterback, you throw it in a bucket in the corner. And he threw it in the bucket. I don't now, know if he's in. Did he complete that catch? Yeah. Boy, I don't know. I don't know. And the fans are seeing it on the Jumbotron, and they don't think so. Here's another look. Probably our best angle. He's got the tip. I don't know if he's secured it yet. Oh. Yeah, and I don't think he completed the catch to the ground. I think he completed the catch to the ground. It's, it's more of did he secure it initially as a one-handed catch, or did he need to essentially bring it back into his chest in order to complete it before stepping out of bounds? But either way, man, great concentration. Great matchup on the outside with him and the freshman, A.J. Harris, one-on-one. -on -one. Now, Trevante Rucker looks to have, at least for now, given the Skyhawks a touchdown, we're going to zoom in as best we can. So, foot. And then does it, did, does it hit the ground right there? I, I thought it did, but kind of hard to tell. So we just see a positive win. It initially makes contact with the ball. So right there, questionable is it secure or not, but that left foot does come in bounds. So at this point, it's... I don't see any movement enough to say that that wasn't a catch. Trevante Rucker. 
played for Coach Prime at Jackson State. He transfers to UT Martin looking for a bigger role. Let's not forget the play, the, the call in the field was a touchdown, so they need to find enough. Yeah. And from those angles, unless that, that he does drop it when he hits the ground, you know, we talk about completing the catch. I don't I don't see it, man. I think this could be hard to overturn that one. That's a heck of a play from that young man. It's got to be indisputable video evidence to overturn the call on the field. And Zirin alludes to Kyle Olson, the lead official tonight, looking at it. And John Bible, our replay official, going over this. I said it before, Kyle Olson has been busy this week. We had him on the crew in Columbia, Missouri on Thursday night. He's here in Athens for the Saturday game. Here's the call. After video review, the ruling of a touchdown stands. And you were right. Peyton Woodring is going to try to tack on a three-pointer here with a little over two minutes to go. One of the top prep kickers in the country last year. On the place kicking chores, he's going to try to knock this one in from 33 yards out. Could it's our, work, it's our a, grind here. A long college football weekend. <laughs> well, then we get Clemson Duke on uh, on Monday night. Cody Sparks into the game for the first time at quarterback. Kincaid Dent is done. And his first pass is picked off. <laughs> Kyron Jones taking it to the house. A pick six here in Athens. How about that debut for the true freshman from Charlotte? Man, you got to love the celebration on the sideline from Georgia, the players, the veterans. You talk about the leadership of the team. Game's over with. Get you celebrate for this young man who's. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.